So, we have ourselves a problem here, guys. I'm going to jump right into it. First and foremost, we have a problem back here on the Latitude 36 Bermuda grass. I have no idea um, whether this is heat stress, whether this is um, disease, but I got a couple things for that that I'm going to do. So, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we got. You can see all right here. Now, it's a lot better than what it once was because I got green starting to come up through it. So that's a good sign. That's a real good sign. Um, so to my knowledge, as I inspected and looked, it's not bugs, chinch bugs, anything along those lines. Came out to look in it. You know, um, it's a little crunchy when I'm stepping on it. So that tells me two things. That tells me that might be heat stress or I got some fungus or whatnot that kind of grew over. Of course, over here, you can see how good the latter 236 is looking. All right, so. Jeez. What I have here, I'm gonna pick up some of this stuff some of the Scott's disease EX. This helps fungus, you know, um, if you have it. If I have it, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna put some down anyway. Can't hurt, you know. Put some down anyway to prevent it if it's already there or maybe something might be coming up and hopefully it can help that out. A while back, your good friends over there at Yard Mastery and Sunnyland Corporations um, sent your boy B. Davis some of this summer stress blend right here. This is a multi-purpose fertilizer. This is 702. Now, once again, you always want to look on your bag. This is 7% nitrogen and 20% potassium potash, however you see fit. Summertime, when it get hot, especially down here in South in Texas, uh, potassium, get you some of that down in your yard is important to slow that stress of that heat down. That's what it is to slow it down. Could that be here? Could that be the issue? Could it be that I have heat stress? I need to get some potassium down, you know, um, to actually slow the whole process down and everything? I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna drop some of this potash down and we're gonna get to going, you know? So we're gonna work on this back, get it going. We're gonna check back in about a week later and we're gonna find out if this whole problem here is cured or not. <sighs> Law enforcement officer. Let's get it. First, you always got to pick up the dog turds out the grass. With this summer stress blend here from Yard Mastery, on the front, which I really do enjoy, is that they have the whole setup for you. A lot of the bags, like the disease that's on the back, which is fine too, you know, just one step to making us more lazy than just turning the bag around. But <clears throat> it's nice because it gives you everything that you need. Of course, your analysis here, of course, what it is, you know, low nitrogen, high potassium, your spreader settings right here. And it also tell you here, three pounds per thousand is what you want to put down on it. Three pounds per thousand. This bag here says that it covers up. Now, look at this. Now, I don't know what, um, Yarn Mastery doing over there, but you know, might want to check this out. This bag says it covers 6,666 square feet. Sounds like the devil application to me. Yeah. So I totally forgot to get my little bucket, my scale, so I can measure out exactly how much we need of product. Now, can you mix the products together? I don't know. Am I gonna mix the products together? You're damn right. So the ZZX, we're gonna put down at three pounds per thousand. This ain't a makeup channel, kid. This is about I grass. Put makeup on you. Why you wanna put makeup on me? Because you can look like a little girl. Listen, this ain't James Charles' channel.
6.9, close enough. Summer blend was once again the same. Three pounds per thousand square feet. Look at that, guys. Look at that summer stress blend. Not too shabby. Once again, put it down, get your scale. Your scale weighs out to zero. Connect it under, under here. Now hold it up in the air. 7.4, why not? I am going to mix this together. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, oh crap, B. Davis, what about the spreader settings? On the summer blend, it should be at five or so, 5.2. Um, at the Scott's Disease X, it should be at roughly like 3.4. Uh, somewhere around there, 3.3. .3. So we are actually gonna go in the middle and we're gonna put it on a solid four. Four should get us enough coverage for the whole 2,200 square feet. So, there you go. Turn. Boom. Just like that, we put down summer stress blend. We put down disease X. I'm going to get this water in and we're going to check back again in about a week to see if we start to see some better results. So zone in on that, pause that, snip that, cut that. Let's see what happens in a week. Ah. <laughs>